Can you smell that? It smells like Christmas! And what does Christmas smell like to you? To me, Christmas smells like milk, pine, and gingerbread cookies! And so, today, we're going to make gingerbread cookies. They're incredibly easy to make, so you won't even need your parents to help you. <laughs> Before getting started, don't forget to cover up your clothes and wash your hands. Mine are clean! Now, what will we need to make gingerbread cookies? You can pause the video or look in the description for the ingredient list. Beside the various ingredients, you'll need a cup, two deep mixing bowls, a rolling pin, and Christmas cookie cutters. Measure out three cups of flour. Now, pour the flour into the bowl. One teaspoon of cinnamon. I love cinnamon, so I'll add a bit more than a teaspoon. Now we'll need a half teaspoon of ground cloves. And now we need one and a half tablespoons of ginger. Ginger is considered to be the most important ingredient in these cookies. Because all the spices are warming, eat this cookie and then go ride a roller coaster on Christmas Eve. You won't freeze! Now we need a pinch of salt and a half teaspoon of baking powder. You can substitute baking soda for the baking powder. Now, grab a large spoon and start mixing it. Then I'll set aside the dry ingredients and start to mix the wet ingredients. Mmm, it already smells amazing! Now, Crack the two eggs into the other mixing bowl. We need one cup of sugar. Now, we'll mix the sugar and the eggs together. Pour in the sugar. Start mixing on low speed first, and then on high. Now we'll add two-thirds cups of butter, but it should be warm. You should remove it from the fridge about a half hour early. Blup! <laughs> now we'll mix it again. And the final touch, honey. We need two tablespoons of honey. Now mix it all together again. The wet ingredients are ready! Now let's combine them and make the dough. Add the flour to the wet ingredients. Now mix it with a spoon. Once the consistency becomes thicker, it'll become harder to mix. Ideally, it should be similar to dense clay. <laughs> it already smells like Christmas! Now the dough needs to chill in the fridge for 2 to 3 hours. Or overnight is even better. Our dough has chilled in the fridge and is now harder than it was before. This is the consistency that we need. Now sprinkle a little flour on the table so that the dough doesn't stick to your hands. Open the dough. Lay it on the cutting board and cut it with a knife. Roll it into a ball. Mm -hmm. 
At the same time that I'm shaping it into a ball, I'm also covering it in flour. Then flatten the ball. The rolling pin should also be covered in flour. Roll the dough till it's about half an inch thick. You should also coat the cookie cutters with flour so they don't get stuck. Look how beautiful this heart turned out! Now, I'll make a snowflake. All of my cookie cutters are Christmassy. I'll make one more heart. Then place the cookies in the oven and bake them at 350 degrees for 15 minutes. I've ended up with such delicious gingerbread cookies! I hope yours turn out to be tasty and you can bring joy to your friends and family this Christmas. From this amount of dough, I got two batches of cookies. Carefully place the cookies on a plate, making sure they don't break. Mmm, so yummy! Subscribe to the Pingo channel and we'll show you many more interesting activities!